episode one, Faith. Bullfinch Street. Okay. The Woodland Luxury Apartments. Uh, and we can walk this way. Uh, gate. Enter. What can I do? Look at the black. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Yeah. Can I walk this way? No. Open here. Fables created by Bill Willingham. Um, something here. Stay off the grass. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. Hmm. Anything else? So this is our hero. Wolf. Big back wolf. What? What is that? Come on out. Yeah. Out. Come on. All right. All right. Beauty. Beauty? Hello, Big B. Hey, stay off the grass. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. So, where are you off to? <laughs> well, I went for a walk. I don't see what's wrong with that. Didn't say there was. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Just, you know, out. For a walk. That's all. Damn it, I'm late. Beauty from Sleeping Beauty? Please, baby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Oh, Beauty and the Beast. Okay. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Okay. Just please. Sure. You promise? I promise. Yeah. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Okay, you go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate Big B. Yeah, she looked fine. Okay, so that's Beauty from Beauty and the Beast. We saw the Woodsman. This is the Big Bad Wolf. And we have a Toad. And the... Uh, Strange woman. Okay, so the security is asleep. How about we look at this in the meantime? Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. No mail. Okay, let's go wake the, the guard. Wake up, you punk. What is this? Shoot a farm or... Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. Flycatcher? What happens if I do this? Hmm. Okay, wake up. Hey, you wink. <laughs> Grimble. Mm, probably for the best. Okay, we're gonna leave this guy sleeping here. What else do we have? Woodland Directory. Oh, look at that. Um, private, private. Oh, something here. Damn thing fell off again. Um, should I put it back there? Not sure if this is wife. I 
mean, why? How much longer is this gonna go on? Yeah. I think the sheriff would get a permanent listing. 204. Okay. Let's go this way. Anything here? No. Okay. Press this. There we go. Come on. What is that? Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Mm, beast. So, have you? Nope. Nope. Haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Yeah. She's a lot harder than him, so. New book of fables entry unlocked. I'm gonna check that later. Maybe I'll get some info on the you know the characters. 204, good. Big Big's apartment, Fable Town. Oh. Oof. Damn. Should have cracked a window. Yeah. Wash your face. <sighs> what a night. Yeah. Was pretty heavy. So we have the refrigerator, the freezer. What is this? There's a note over there, but I can't see it. Let me check the freezer. Mmm. Ice cubes. No ice cubes. Uh, if you don't feel it, there will never be any ice cubes over there. What else do we have here? Ah, uh, the fridge. Why do I even own this? Huff and puff? Smaller one. Yeah. Okay. Over here, we have a folder over there. Let me just explore the apartment. Chinese food, a fan, and there's a pig sleeping here. Interesting. His name is Colin. Air conditioning. Okay, we're gonna let the pig sleep over them. Check this. Bluebeard's file. Bluebeard? The, the pirate? Yeah. Chinese food? Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Yeah. A fan. At least this still works. So, what about the pig over here? Hey, Colin, get up. Come on, Colin. Uh, oh, hey, Big B. What's up, man? I'm in your chair, huh? Yep. Come on. I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Move. Ugh. Pigs. Sit over there, man. Good. Got a smoke? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Having a smoke. Thanks. Pig. Couple thousand more of these. We'll be even on that house you owe me. 
This has got to stop. <laughs> you can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. Yeah. That for me? Nope. Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. Oh. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. <laughs> I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Shut up. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. Okay. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. <laughs> but, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Mm. Look, Beep. I'm not saying it's fair. But it's real. People are scared of you. They should be. I mean, look at your hands. What? Yeah, I kick some guy's ass. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. Yeah. I get the impression you say that a lot. <laughs> Colin is unimpressed. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? Yeah, being I don't know. big and being bad. Yeah. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <laughs> yes, it is. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Nope. Name one. Uh, the girl. I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Shut up, Big. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will Snow. you shut up? Snow well, White? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Okay. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Uh. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Okay. Take the drink, you pig. There. Thanks, Big Big. Anytime, Big. Ugh. Okay. Sleep mode. What? What? Ugh. Can't the guy get some sleep around here? Where's the pig? I'm coming! Yeah. Big B! Snow? Come with me. Snow White? Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. What? <laughs> yeah. Who is this guy? These walls are paper thin. Mm. 
We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Security guard. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Uh. Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. Damn. What a waste. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Uh... Terrible. So, tell me what happened. Every detail. I wish there was more to tell. I left the office, walked past the security desk. Luckily, he was asleep. Mm. Grimble. Yeah. Then I opened the door and... I found her. Like this. I came to get you right away. And that's all? That's it. Sorry. Big P, did one of... us... do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. What is it? I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Okay, gonna start looking for some clues. Ugh. Examine the head. This is very grim, you know. Oh, something. What is? Clue, clue. Hell. Her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. Mm. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Okay. The head over here. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. Mm. What kind of monster would do this? If. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Oh, a sword. Or something very sharp. Or something with magic attached to it. Hmm? Blood. It's all blood. Ugh, I'm... I'm sorry. This is just... So surreal. <sighs> um, what... What do you want to do next? Mm, we want to investigate more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Yeah. Okay, good idea. I know there's some stuff around here. I want to check this... This over here. And here. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? An hour. Okay, anything else? That's the door. The 
just go to... Oh, something here. What is this? Scrap of fabric. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Let's see here. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, yep. got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Okay, anything else I can do here? I can jump the fence. Let me just look here. Just some loose trash. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Anything else? No? Okay, let's go back. Come on, quickly. Move, move, move. Don't have a lot of time. Uh, what is this? What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Mm, message. What's happened? Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Uh, the victim. She could be a symbol for something. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. Yeah. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Dr. Swinehart? Destruction and creation are the same.